deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a dam. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is, or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. 
Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. What's your system status? I'm okay. Bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Ellis away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the CyberLife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. For you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided 
to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! Please! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Madam President! Madam President! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please! Please! Madam President! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead.
Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Hey, don't touch that. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Stay here. Without being noticed. 
I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them. They're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts. It's gonna take weeks. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Get moving. Hurry up. Get in. Look over there. It's Luther. We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave him. They're going to kill him. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids. Right there. Holy shit, where'd you come from? Cora! Come on, this way. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. 
But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Stay sharp. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Your turn.
Deactivate your skin. Hurry up! Please, Kara, don't... We have to. Strip off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Come on, this way. Get a move on. <gasps> you, take this one of a dump. No, no, please, I beg you. I gave you an order. Obey, now. I beg you, please don't kill me. You there, get rid of these two, and make it snappy. Right away, sir. Forward! Come on, get moving! You, over there! You, wait, we're together! Over there, I said! Too. They came to take out the Jerry's. They separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. What's behind these doors? to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Car, Alice! Are you okay? Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Car! Never see you again. Alice. 
Where's Atlas? You, you, and you, over this way. And you. Come on, get a move on. Come on, faster. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Right, that should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. No getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive.
There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. I won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What did he say?
The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of Don't move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do.
Wake up! Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, 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 wake up. Step forward when you hear the signal, you got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go, move. <laughs> 